This is Marcia Weeks, and guess what? This is the Caribbean School of Arts and Business, and it's revision time. Revision time for CXC, which is happening only in a couple of weeks. Today, we're going to revise Cape Accounting Unit 2, and we're specifically going to be looking at job costing. Job costing. I hope it's not giving you any trouble because... It's, it's, a, it's a cost accounting system. It is used when making products that are distinct from each other or distinct groups or batches of identifiable unique products. So an example of that would be uh, for, in a furniture store. Say you're making custom made furniture. You want that specially unique type of furniture well, you would have to use the job costing accounting system in order to account for the jobs, um, on, for the cost of that job. Now, remember, direct materials and direct labor are assigned and manufacturing overhead is allocated using a predetermined overhead rate or overhead absorption rate using activity-based costing. Remember, you must remember that when you're doing your job order costing, that the direct materials and direct labor are assigned and manufacturing overhead is allocated using a predetermined overhead rate, or you can also use the overhead absorption rate using activity-based costing. Now, the second thing to remember is that jobs to which costs are assigned or allocated and are complete are considered, considered what? Work in process. That's what we call work in process in job order costing. Jobs to which costs are assigned or allocated and are complete are considered work in process, WIP for short. Now, the third thing to remember is that all jobs that are completed at the end of the period are finished goods. And incomplete jobs are called working process, ending working process inventory. Remember that the jobs that are completed at the end of the period, those are called what? Finished goods. And incomplete jobs that are at the end of the period are called ending working process inventory. Now, the third thing to um, remember is that finished goods that are sold are called cost of goods sold. And unsold finished goods of the end of the period are ending finished goods inventory. All right. So finished goods that are sold are called what? Cost of goods sold. And unsold finished goods finished jobs of the end of the period are called ending finished goods inventory. And um, the next thing that I want us to look at is to look at this, um, this chart. And this gives us the flow of, of costs in the job costing. And it's basically um, saying to us that direct materials are assigned, direct labor assigned, Manufacturing overhead. Manufacturing um, overhead is allocated, as we had said before. So direct labor assigned, but the manufacturing overhead is allocated. And then it goes into work in process, all right? When your work in process is completed, it's called finished goods. When it's sold, as we said before, it's called cost of goods sold. But let's look at the, the items at the bottom of, the, of this chart. Ending work in process, inventory, what, what's that? Th that? That is the jobs that are incomplete. If your job, if the jobs are incomplete, it's called the ending work in process inventory. When finished goods are unsold, they're called ending finished goods inventory. All right. So that's our uh, revision tip for job costing. Um, for those of you who are doing CAPE Accounting Unit 2. And remember, if you want to practice questions, because it's one thing to know the theory, but if do you want to practice questions, and if you want to do multiple choice or paper two, remember to give us a call. Call or WhatsApp us. We're right here for you. And as you study, stay positive, work hard, and good luck.